Hey, good morning, Finley River. Hope everybody's doing well. We are in, in 1 Timothy chapter 6. Yesterday we covered the first six verses. We're going to finish out this chapter today so we can start something new on Monday. I don't know if we're going to dive off back, dive off into uh, 2 Timothy, or we may just dive, I'm, I'm thinking we may go into, into a book of the Old Testament and kind of cover some some of the some of the stuff uh, and look at some some good stuff in, in the Old Testament and just see what, where God leads and, and directs. We yesterday finished up yesterday with uh, chapter six, verse six, and now in verse seven it says, "For we have brought nothing into this world, so we cannot take anything out of it either. If we have food and covering, with these things we shall be content. But those who may want to get rich into temptation and snare uh, many foolish and harmful desires plunge men into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all evil and some by longing for it and wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. Here is, is a, a lot of times a misquoted scripture because they say love the, that money is the root of all evil it's the love of money is, that is the root of all evil. The Old Testament says that uh, money is a source of our uh, a way to fix our problems. And um, here it says the love of money. So we, we pursue money and get very greedy. Then it says here that we can pierce ourselves through with many griefs. But it says, but flee from these things. Ye man of God and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, pure, uh, perseverance, and gentleness. Uh, the righteousness part is that we have the righteousness. We have these things. We've been given everything that pertains to life and godliness. But it, pursuit of righteousness means that we've got, we we need to get it from here to here so that it becomes an ingrained part of who we are. It's why it's why I instituted years ago telling people that they need to look in the mirror and and see. Uh, you see yourself, but say this to yourself, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, and it's a reason for the homework that I've given to you guys and, and hopes that it will become uh, part of who you are, and you won't see yourself as the old you, but the new you that Christ has paid for. Um, uh, fight the good fight of faith and take hold of the eternal life which you were called, and you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. I charge you in the presence of God who gives life to all things and of Christ Jesus who testified the good confession before Pontius Pilate that you keep the commandment uh, without stain, reproach until the appearing of the Lord Jesus uh, which he will bring about in the proper time and he is the, who is the blessing and the sovereign the King of kings and Lord of lords who alone possesses immortality and dwells in the unapproachable, unapproachable light uh, whom no man has seen or can see, to him be honor and eternal dominion. Amen. Instruct those who are rich in the present world not to be conceited or to fix their hope in our uncertainty of riches, but on God who richly supplies us with all things to enjoy. Instruct them to be good, to be rich in and good uh, works to be generous and ready to share, storing up for themselves treasures for good foundation of the future, so that they may take hold of that which is life indeed. O oh, Timothy, guard what has been entrusted to you, avoiding worldly and empty chatter and the opposing arguments that are falsely uh, called knowledge, which has been professed and thus goes astray from the faith. Grace be to you. Uh, I want to go back up here to this this um, verse. <coughs> uh, excuse me. <clears throat> verse 11. I want to read it in the Amplified. But as for you, O man of God, flee these things. Aim at, at and pursue righteousness, true goodness, moral com uh, conformity to the character of God, uh, conformity. Remember, God, uh, Paul tells us to not be not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Here, Paul talks about being conformed to the image of God, uh, and that uh, we have to do that by changing our mind. Metaneo, uh, 
uh, changing our thought process and the way we think about ourselves and, and changing the way God thinks about us. So I hope you're encouraged today. Um, today is Friday. We won't be here uh, Saturday or Sunday. I'll see you guys on Monday, and we'll uh, take off on a new study and a new adventure. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the day to ride. I'm going to pray for you uh, and hope you guys have a good weekend. And those of you that are watching that will be in church Sunday, I'll see you on Sunday. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. We praise you for the ability to be able to just open up your word and just read and, and, and breathe you in. And we're thankful for that you have breathed upon us the breath of life and that you have chosen us to be your people and that you have set us in this world to be an example to others and be a light uh, for this community. We thank you for the ability to be able to have the opportunities that are laid before us that we can just share Jesus with others. We love you and we need you. We stand in need of your touch. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Again, I hope you'll continue to follow me here on the daily ride, and I hope you'll keep riding.